Alright, we should live. So, day was a bit weird. Woke up, pulled over, went back to sleep. Now I had to take my brother to work, and now I got like almost two hours before I have to be to work. And there's a free phantom sealed, so we're just gonna do that real quick. <clears throat> Play a few games. And three additional rares. Well, there'll be one. Oh, no, there'll be two from the set. We have Kenny, we have SRAM, we have Invasion. Like, White Blue's looking really good, but Vorinclex is also insane, so let's see what we actually have. Um. Let's see. Is it Rarity? Oops, it's in the bottom corner. Um. Is. Um. So R equals R or Mythic R? Or we can just find them naturally. Alright, so we had Kenny, Sram. Rawls, one of them, from Shark. We'll complete the circuit. We got one more. Um, see it in black. Red. Oh, there it is. City on fire. Hey. What do we got in green? We got Vorinclex. One Tangled Skyline. <clears throat> yeah, green looks medium at best. Uh, our Black had, what, one Derision, one Vanquish the Week, one Final Flourish. Uh, got a lot of good Black removal. That's about it. Um, red has... I don't see any volcanic thingy. Deadly barb. Yeah, red looks not great either. Alright, so probably some combination of white, black, blue. Two of those. That's good. Maybe. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely. Run her, would run that. That's okay, that thing. Oh, we got two of those. You have a refusal and an assimilate essence. The sword we're definitely running. We even have a white blue dual land. Oh my god, our white blue is like completely on point. Like we can run the black, but a lot of the good removal is double black, so that's gonna be a little bit rough. The blue is just super like the blue white is just super solid. Let's see, this one hits artifact, creature, or enchantment. Now uh, we can flicker and pay two life to retransform that. Could move this around. Uh, it's cast, not comes into play. Mm. And flicker the hex proof. Set that to try again. I mean, technically, we can reset that to get another 2 2 if we want to get rid of the anthem for a turn. Seems not great. Back up, yes. Uh, that one makes another 2 2. That one gives me a 2 2 for targeting things.
Okay, um... The only other fixing we have, we have red black from this. <clears throat> and we have this thing to make man of other colors for Kenny. Because having access to green, red, and black would be kind of a big deal with Kenny. Not that he needs it, but it would not be terrible to have. Scroll shift is okay. Two counter spells are playable. Alright, real quick. Go T colon creature and see what we got. Like, this pile in and of itself is almost good enough to cut five cards. Hmm. I was gonna say, we could probably cut the Sigiled Sentinels, because these are three drops that make creatures and would trigger the shark also. This triggers the shark and makes creatures. This triggers the sharks and make creatures. Yeah, no. Maybe we don't need this one then. Yeah, no, that makes a 2 2 also. So we probably don't need that. We'll probably cut him to Effector, maybe. Like having all of these spells that make creatures with the Chrome Host Shark seems too good. And we can probably cut the We can cut the Dune Shaper. The downside is it is a one drop one power creature that Tetsuko would make unblockable. <coughs> Hey, right. I'm on a slightly limited time frame, so anything else we desperately want? The deck. Like a bunch of stuff that is okay and playable. Cheap counterspell. Expensive counterspell that draws us cards, but I think we're good enough here. Yeah, let me just untangle my headset a little bit. To have gotten wrapped around itself. There we go. And let's hop into it. <clears throat> yeah, big fancy tournament. I definitely take a lot more time agonizing. But. We got a really strong, practically built itself pool, so. Hey, I'm down to try this. Our opponent is mulliganing to oblivion. Ah! Oh. Alright, maybe we'll do one more game after we get our three wins. Just to make up for the non-existent game there. Alright, so what'd we get? A Joria Ageless Innovator. Hey. Transform that, yeah. Give it a shot. Oh, found a SRAM, but we'll lead with our Welkin turn with upside. Oh, 
Tackle the one one here. In case they just put a counter on it. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, Kenny? Yeah. Hey, Kenny. How's it going? Alright, so we know we're not drawing any of those anytime soon, so we'll trade the SRAM off if they want to. Yeah. That's fine. Grab the eyes. Draw Kenny. Now their Death Toucher is gone, so Kenny's got free reign. to kill the 3-3. Three, three. Or chump at this turn. Heal. Yeah, Gliss is real, real good. Ooh. one flip first. Like a three from the flyer. Yep. Play Glissa, flip all of them. Gonna be a problem. Okay, hit that. Hit them. Double Kenny. turn when they have first strike and death touch. I mean, I have a two turn air clock right now if they have nothing, so... Ah, so they gotta have something. Oh, now it's a three turn air clock, which is way worse. Like one of the cards they saw. Yep! So we also have to be able to kill that. Curiosaur has Ward 2. So. 
Oh, thank God they didn't make the him curious. Oh no, that wouldn't have done anything. It would have made them better in any way. Still got to take way too much damage here, though, unfortunately. So let's see: three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen. And they're all vigilance. Yeah, them being vigilance is what actually killed us here. All right. All right. So white. Uh, yeah, I think we have to full control this one. So we're targeting. Oh, right. He has vigilance. I can't even target him. Oh shoot. Yeah, no, that's that's actually a problem. I forgot it was gonna have vigilance from the seed core. So eighteen Yeah, we just lose this one. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot it gained vigilance from the seed core. I'm thinking I can destroy an attacking creature, not a tapped creature. Well, that lined up perfectly to kill me. We almost beat a Glissa without having a way to interact with it. <sighs> mm. I have a hard time mulliganing Kenny. But this hand is medium at best. Alright, that actually helped a lot, having a much better two drop. I just need to hit some lands in the next few draws. That's terrifying. We have a lot of tempo plays to undo what that does, but you need to hit some lands real soon. Okay. This will kill the O4 if they block. Yep. Nah, I think we wait. They want to put the counters on their guy. We'll dispersal it back. Yep. Um, hmm. I want to draw the sword, but I need to draw my fifth land also. So we cast this. Put the counter there. gonna run out the invasion then I realized that I'd rather tempo them out because I don't think they're gonna be able to win this game. The Ozalus is gonna to be too slow. Like if they go cheap creature buff it we get to bounce the cheap creature and if they just spend their whole turn casting a 1-4 again. Yep. Ah they don't even get to put counters on it because they only have one green mana.
Yeah, I do not like your chances right now, opponent. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We give our thing pro green. Yes, first we equip it so that way they can't. Yep, okay. first, because they have to stop it there if they can. Hey. Right. Our second card is the Dragon Kami Reborn. talk me into it. Sram into the strongest equipment in the game. Draw a card seems okay. Oh hey, it's Finn the Fang Bearer again. Hey, let's just get my draw for this. They don't, but... Oh, okay. That's fine, then. Their guy. Know about our board. Yep. Okay. block with this anyway, so. Heal. Um, I don't think we need her right now. I'll take the cut short, though. Finn's gonna... Annoying if we just let him run roughshod over everything. Although I will trade the 3 5 for him if he attacks now. Ah, I gotta blow up my sword. Okay, that's fair. Yep, yeah, that happens. You got it. I guess we can just trade Ram for Finn. Uh -oh. Kill the sail back instead. They attack with everything. Uh 
Oh, that's mildly obnoxious. Hi, Sram. Probably priced into cutting short Finn. Hmm. Oh, this is awkward. Because now I definitely want to cut short Polycranos. Yeah, okay. You got me. That's a pretty good one. So, for five. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident now. Does have a wrath in Fiora, so. Ah, it's an 18 cents. That's cool. We should just play her out as another potential blocker. Like, they have reach on Polycrano, so it's not helping, but if they keep going wide like this, I don't want to get accidentally killed.
Uh, did they draw invade the sea core? Because that's going to ruin me. 18 or 19 power trampling gargle. Yeah, that would kill me pretty good. Pretty, yeah. Pretty good, pretty bad, pretty very definitely. Yeah, yes. Listen, opponent, I promised my viewers I might do another game to make up for the non-game we had round one. Storm the Seed Core, just cast it on all your things, and win the game. Because Finn having Death Touch right now would be pretty brutal. And Vigilance. And Trample. All at the same time. He already has Death Touch. Suddenly gaining Trample and Vigilance, though, when I'm at 8 Poison Counters would be pretty lethal. And the way you keep bouncing over all of your creatures... Makes me think you're trying to target them. There it is! Ah, uh, hey, they had it. That is twice now we've gotten absolutely ruined by the Seed Core. Because we have to block uh, Finn with three creatures, and Dina's lethal by herself, and Yargle's lethal by itself, so, yep. Alright, you got it. Alright, well, I lost another game, so here comes your bonus game, I guess. To make up for the other thing? Yeah, no, Storm the Seed Core on that board state, there was literally no way we could block. Like, Dina can sack Yargle to gain 18 power, and Finn has to be triple blocked or we die to one point of trample damage from him. So, yeah. All right, well, we got Sram and the sword again, so I guess we're going to try it. Hello, opponent. How are you? Oh, unless they're... I was gonna say, unless they're, like, three plus colors, the sword is not protected from what they're doing. Yeah, well, we have all of our bombs now, except for the fairy, but that's okay. The fairy's better later in the game, normally. Okay. Three top, including the land that they were going to draw from that. So they like the other two cards also. Hey, okay, well, let's draw our card, because we need a fourth land. Desperately need a fourth land. Hmm. I don't care if they deal one to it. I don't want to lose SRAM here. Oh, also they played a Swamp. I just noticed that now. So I'm very observant. Yeah, I just want my value. I guess we could have attacked them for two. I don't think they're blocking with the Aetherblade agent, but... We do have Realmbreaker's Grasp in hand. So... I want to get all of my value for casting it. spend the turn transforming their guy. I'll cut it down. Otherwise we're flipping the 2-2. Two -two. 
Zodahedron Grinder. That's terrifying. Is not as sufficiently terrifying. Let's go ahead and bounce her for a turn. We can kill Stram now if they want. We spent all of our stuff. Yep. I don't want to lose the tell the killer with. Chrome Shark and three targeted effects in our hand. for Zada. Alright. Oh. I guess better there than under other circumstances, but still not great for us. Because now we're not holding up cut short or intervention. So, if Zada gets fancy... Ooh, they milled Glissa. Mm. Oh, right, it didn't only target their guys, so they don't get to fight again. Hey. Anyway. They transform their guy, it'll have Ward 2. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, let's put it on the shark, because I like the shark. I want the shark to live a nice, healthy life. Hey. Okay. Ram. Uh, I assume they want their Aether Blade. Oh, they want to land. That's actually terrifying. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. this over. Okay. Yep, everybody gets plus two, plus two, and on tops. I'm pretty sure they meant to block there, like the one couldn't. Actually, two of them can't, 
But yeah, they did mean to block with Zada. This doesn't make it change colors or anything. Yeah, so they didn't mean to block Wazada there. Three cards in hand. Flip this over. Pass to blockers. Go down here, see what they want to do. Ah. <clears throat> what they want to do is die because our stuff is going to kill them. Well, fortunately, that opponent milled their Gisa, so, or not Gisa, Glissa. I did that again. And we got a fancy artwork for Exian Sensor. Alright. Well, we did die a couple times, so we got more than three games in, despite that one non game where the opponent just mulliganed into oblivion. And we got packs to open, so. I think that's going to have to be good enough, and we will call it there. Got a little downtime before work, but I will see you next time. Might be on again tonight playing Final Fantasy VII, or I might be doing something else. The uh, remake, not the original. But either way, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and have a good rest of your day.